What's going on again? It's Scott Evan the Dog Gaming UK. We're on Departed at part of the Invasion DLC. I said I'd go through all maps and show you them. This one I like because it's nothing at all to do with the story, but it's just a bit of fun. Look at cars as well. There's loads and loads of detail put into them. So I think it's really fun what they've done with this map. Uh, the strike package is quite special. Basically, it's a Mexican town celebrating the Day of the Dead, where they have a day just celebrating the dead, which they've done in Mexico for a lot, lot of years now. Look at this Hurst. Probably die, but there you go. Look at detail on it. It's just really, really fun what they've done with it. Colours are nice and bright. It's a, they're all small maps as well, guys, which to me, small maps means more action. So I will try the strike package to show you guys because you basically. Ooh! IED. You basically become a man with a sugar skill face mask on uh, and a couple of magnums, and you've got juggernaut armor, so to speak, and all that good stuff. And then when you kill someone, it becomes like your minion, so to speak, which is really cool. And then he goes round as well, shit, and all that good stuff, guys. So, I'm loving this new DLC, I think it's the best one I've done so far to be honest. Really, really enjoying it. I'm trying my best to get as many gameplays and everything up as possible for you. I don't like that. Looks really, really nice guys. But I think it's just good what they've done. I do think it's good. Oh, we've got it what? What we gotta do? One kill while jumping. Oh bitch. <laughs> Never mind, we'll try to get it again, guys, not to worry. But I do think it's good that they've put some fun stuff in that's not all to do with story. Shit. I'm getting owned. And ironically, it's on bots. Because I just wanted to go around and show you some stuff like that. Don't know what that says. Unfortunately. But I'm sure it says something very good. Oh, chickens from Modern Warfare 3. Remember them guys on Modern Warfare 3? They were fun. You got frustrated, killed the chicken, it changed it up. And they're always them funny couple. Get it? Non lethal kill streaks. Well, that ain't gonna happen. Ah, what a bell. Never mind. Might not be able to show you it, guys. I will get you some gameplay strike right package though, oh, definitely. Maybe if I pick it up again. Maybe. I don't know. But look at it. Just look at detail they've put into it. I think it's really good. That's quite comical. It looks pretty good. Looks like he's taking a shit. But there you go. Taking a shit in a coffin. Whatever thoughts you bought. Right. Because of small maps, I think that's impressive. I like how it's bright and colourful because quite a lot of ghost maps, especially original maps, are very dark and grey and gloomy. So it does add a bit of variety and spice and all that. Good stuff, guys. What's in here? Got some more chickens. Got a shop, but yeah, I, I reckon you definitely should download this. If you haven't checked it out already, definitely check it out. I've done the Favilla map a few hours ago, depending on when this gets posted with bloody YouTube uploads. Non lethal kill streaks again. What a damn shame. Which is a bit of a sod, since as as I've not got no way for one. But yeah, for Villa gameplays, showing you that I do like these cars as well. I do I do like all the detail and that they put into map packs. I think it mixes it up, guys. I, I've not <coughs> bugger IED, but I've not thought of a map being shit yet. I've done for Villa and I've done this, and I'm really really impressed with it. Oh, I've got it. Right here we go, guys. Here we go, here we go. And put this here. This is what I want to do in bots, you see, to try and get to show you as much as possible in these few minutes and hopefully you'll get it right. Here we go. -da -da -da! Look at me go. Now I'm a juggernaut Mexican with a scary mask and it's very intimidating when they come after you actually. Look what happens here, watch. And he turns into a minion! We have minions, but I'm not gonna. What minion? I think you get two minions, basically. So they run around with you and be an a-hole as well. But the thing I like about this is it, it's. Some people's gonna say it's overpowered, right? Like maniac, but it's not, guys, because these dual magnums aren't the easiest things to use. 
because you've got to to be effective with it I think you've got to go for an headshot to be honest and then it seems to do business but as you can see you can definitely go on a tear guys and have some fun and take some minions with you which I think is quite cool hence why I did it in bots so you get to see quite a few features and have a look around the map properly you get scavengers as well guys so you can always reload your ammo when you're doing some damage with these juggernaut Mexicans I just like the music as well what they put on with it it's quite cool a squad member KIA so the light squad members as in white with right shield same kind of principle I think guys and I also like that what that red mist it's like a permanent oracle which works out really really well for you you see him there look stands out like a sore thumb poor bugger but look it's not overpowered because well I don't think it's overpowered for simple fact look skelly taking the shit for simple fact that the magnums are the easiest guns to use guys so if you're not used to rocky magnums you're not going to do extremely well with them so but it adds to fun I think and I think they've definitely captured a lot of what I like with games where it's just fun based especially with these map parts guys and ghosts does get a lot of slating and I know it's by far not the best Call of Duty but at least they're trying we're introducing new stuff guys so I suppose we have to give them a bit of credit where that's concerned and to be honest with you I do think this is the best DLC so far because they're all small hectic crazy maps and the one thing I like about this map if you look at it it's very very original COD based and what I mean by that is you've two levels up you've no more levels than that there's no going down there's no going up two stories it's just Russian gun two levels which I didn't even see him which to me is that a motorbike? no oh shit that's on it thing I noticed with me I um, I die a lot because I, I, I nosy too much and I know I'm going to nosy that's why I put it on box because I thought I'm going to die constantly if I don't because I'm too nosy and I like to have a good look and all that stuff and like it's two levels but it's, it, it does remind me of old COD maps and how it plays and things like that guys and what I like about it is yeah it's two levels but you can still be quite creative with it and things like that oh, that wasn't bad so I hope you enjoyed a look at this one really really enjoyed it I'm really really liking these new maps I'll get next two up for you as well guys and then we'll probably get some live gameplay of them and stuff like that guys so thanks for watching and I'll see you next one, ta for now guys